Hello, everyone. Hi, John and Sims Lady. Perry is here again. Thanks for coming. Jason, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I was trying not to hit my table too much. I did that a lot last time. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked for this. I wanted to do this for like a really long time because it's so easy and it's something that um, like beginners or anyone who even if like you've never used Sims 4 Studio you could use this. Essentially all we're going to be doing is exporting files and importing files and what's cool is that there's like so many awesome counters that especially like the island living ones I've always thought this too like there's so many like cute base colors and separately there's cute countertop colors but then the combos they did like I think there's like a, a blue and yellow one let's see oh Jason your FX man hey see I'm glad it's so I'm pretty good at um like remembering people's names from different uh like social media platforms but uh, then sometimes it's a little bit harder like when you get different names on different platforms so um, okay I just wanted to open up Sims for Sims 4 real quick to kind of show you I, I know you guys all know what I mean but I wanted to show you some of my favorites and this is like I don't like I said it's something super easy like that anyone can do and it's really really quick so let me hop you guys can hear me okay, right? I I should be asking this, like, every time I start, but I just wanted to ask. Okay, H. Prune, have you ever seen um, Breaking Bad? I don't know if you've ever seen that, but uh, I think it's been a really long time since I've seen it. I think her name's Marie. It's Hank's wife. Um, do you know, like, Brian Cranston's, I don't know, sister-in-law, I guess? Or... Oh, you know, it's, I think it's his wife's actual sister, and then Hank is the, whatever, the, Hank is the husband. That's his brother-in-law. Actually, technically, they're both, anyways, <laughs> I'm off rambling. If you look at his wife, she's obsessed with everything lavender. Like, if you just Google, like, Marie from Breaking Bad's house, like, literally her entire house is purple. So, anyways, that's what made me think of that. Okay, so let me pull open the game. Hello, Mia. Thanks for coming. Okay, I have Mike in an awful house as usual, so let me pull it up. <laughs> uh, I forget what I was testing on this one. But this is essentially what I wanted to show you guys how to do. And like I said, this is something, like, you can do for yourself. Um, like, just if, if there's, like... A certain counter you love, this is like a great way to just customize it real quick for yourself. All of my builds end up looking like a little Walmart-y in the sense that they're just big squares with a ton of lights on them. <laughs> okay, so let's get rid of this guy. Okay, so essentially, let's see. Like some of my favorite counters... I don't know why I always search counters because I end up just always going here. So this was one I showed in like the preview picks. I don't know if these are everyone's favorites, but they're certainly mine. These ones I love as well. And then like right, these ones. Oh, let's she's poor. Let's go. Let's fix that. Um right, these ones. These are all my favorite. Are these everyone else's favorites? What other ones are your guys' faves? Because these are definitely mine. And then obviously the counters would go along with this. So, all right. So here's, here's our lineup right here. So especially, I think I told you guys with this one, um, this was the first one that like I thought of doing it with just because of just the color combinations. Like the white, like I actually, the blue I, is one of like my favorite colors. I love it. But just like with the white, it's not so like, I don't know, it's a certain kind of person who's got like blue stone countertops, I feel like. So like in this case, like I would love to have this white countertop with this one, right? And then I don't know, same with this one, like this gray, 
it could be really neutral, but then it's like, hi, freaking mustard yellow countertops. So I don't know, maybe you could even do gray on gray for that one or a black top or same thing, even like the white countertops with these. Um, so, and there actually is a somewhat still fairly simple way to change the handle colors, but for the most part, like we're just gonna be looking at the tops. And like, if you just notice there too, a lot of times, right, it'll come like with a similar color bottom and like this one, for example, you kind of pick and choose what base and handle combo you have. Um, like same with this guy, this one actually pretty much all has the same top, but like, I feel like the butcher block is so pretty, especially like with this one. And I think there's some of these just have like, white. oh, here's your, here's your, uh, purple one, H. Prune. <laughs> That's, I really like that purple, actually. But, yeah, like, there's... This is, like, a... Is that maybe the same green? Or darker? But, yeah, so, like, you get the idea, right? Like, there's lots... Uh, on, like, this red-brown is not awesome. But, like, yeah, again, there's, like, the white. Um, and so you could, you know, which essentially, like, this one is such a beautiful green, and then the top, why? So, yeah, that's basically like the whole gist of this is just to be able to mix and match and kind of customize the counters how you want. Um, and same thing, I think I just mentioned this one. You can also kind of pick and choose what handle colors. Like these, I think, are supposed to be wood, but they kind of give me gold vibes on it a little bit. Um, it looks like even like the bottom there it's changed. Or there's like a pure white one. So, yeah, lots of options for you to, like, totally customize this however you want. <laughs> the yellow Nick, uh, I think, I think NIC, is that Nick? Nick John says, the yellow countertop gives me Spongebob vibes. Yeah, especially, like, with the holes, right? <laughs> so, okay, so I'm just going to exit out of that. So this is, like, so, so simple. So the first thing you'll need to do is obviously download Sims 4 Studio. This is the only program you will need. You do not need absolutely anything else. We're literally just going to be like exporting and importing stuff. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So you can just see this a little bit better. So all like we're only going to be staying within Sims 4 Studio. So you download this. I think I put the link in the description below. If not, hopefully my wonderful admin at Sims Lady, who is here, if she could possibly link Sims 4 Studio download link. Um, essentially, you download it. super easy to install. It has an automatic installer. Get it installed. Um, and then the only thing you need to do to get started is put in your creator name. So, um, oh, Nerd Villain's here. Hi, Nerd. Nard um, makes freaking hilarious content for The Sims if you haven't seen him. He's on Twitter and TikTok and Instagram and all of them, so you should definitely go follow him. But Okay, so, like I said, stupid simple. So we'll start. Does anyone want me to do a specific countertop to show this? First one to say one. I'll do. Oh, okay. So basically to start... Once you have Sims 4 Studio installed, like I said, it's super easy. There's an automatic installer you can download, so you don't even have to choose anything. It does all the settings for you. Throw in your cre creator name, and it actually like links, it reads from your Sims install folder. So it's already got all of the games you have installed. That's all the content you can clone. So what we're going to come in here and do... Um, is selective clone. Now, if you know a little bit more about what you're doing, technically you can override the counter for yourself, but I always like to do selective clone just to make sure to preserve the original. Um, and, but yeah, and as, I mean, it is, this is something you can post as well, but this is geared definitely more towards doing this for yourself. So you'll just come in here and search counter, or if you know the specific name of the counter, you can look. Um, Nick, I see you wanted Butcher Block. I'm not going to do this one only because there's so few swatches, but I will do the one I showed in the preview picture because it is kind of Butcher Block. So what you'll want to do is once you find the one you want, just click Next. Make sure all switches is, I, like, I actually always pretty much clone all of these. There are some reasons you wouldn't, but um, in our case, you want to clone all of these. So we'll click all right. Now, um, 
You'll choose. I have like a bunch of folders. This is one I made like specifically for this. So, it's, and I've already destroyed its organization. So, ravishing. This is the cottage living counter um, demo. So, you're gonna have to do this for at least the um, the both the generic counter and the island counter. So. But we'll just show you with this one real quick. Now counters, it, I was actually fascinated when I first did counters because they're so kind of over, they're one of like the very much so one of the most complicated objects as far as Sims 4 Studio goes. And the reason uh, that is is because one, right, they typically have a ton of swatches. Um, these are what I'm calling swatches. Then on top of that, they have, I'm pretty sure this is called like a suite. And if you look at this, like it's can be I, I remember it being very overwhelming for me, so it might be overwhelming for you. But here's the best part. We're not going to have to touch any of these. And just so you so you do know what these are. These are like the different options you can have. So one is the middle two. I'm pretty sure is the end. Yeah, the left end. Um, and then you have the shadows. Uh, three is the right end, I think. Ooh, I am remembering this. Well. Four is the inner corner. Oh, no, it's the outer corner. Five is the inner corner, right? And then once you get to six, six actually jumps to the ones against the wall. So if you go, some of them, when you throw them against the wall, they have like a little lip here. This one doesn't, but you can see comparing six to one. I don't know if you saw that, but like one is a little deeper. So when it's against the wall, it actually like cuts off the back a little bit. So that's what this is. Once again, you're not even going to have to touch this. First thing I would do is I'd come in here and I would put like a little something here so you know it's the one you edit in. So I'm just going to put demo here, but you could also do whatever custom color. Sorry if you can hear my dog being a little whiny in the background. Custom counters. And then save that. And then what we're going to do, oh, I'm sorry. My little Okay, Burks. So, um, what I just did, come here. What I just did was hit Control Shift C, um, just like you're putting a cheat in the game, and then do Studio Export All. Now, this is gonna take a minute because there's a lot of stuff it's exporting, um, but what this is doing is it's actually going to export all of the resources, um, or most of them, in this package. That includes your 3D mesh files. It includes all your textures. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. Again, the b beauty of this is we're not even going to have to leave this app. We're going to be literally, imp we're exporting the files right now, and then we're going to be re-importing. Oh, Burke's Burke sitting next to me just watching the screen. She's like, will you hang out with me? <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to take a minute. But while it is, how is everyone doing tonight? Did you guys have a good start to your week? I actually ended up uh, hanging out with my family much of yesterday, which was really awesome. All right, lay down, lay down. Okay, so when it exports, it normally pops open the file like this. It'll um, show you kind of where it's saved. It's always in the Here same, you. all right, Briggs. Here you go, go. It's always in the same folder that you saved the package file to. So you can see here's my package file, here's the folder. If you go in here, these are all of the Blender files. Once again, I know super overwhelming, but we're not going to be touching those. What we are going to be using are these. So these are, um, let me zoom out real quick. So we have all of the counter base and countertops. Now this is the really cool part about the how the counters work. So the counter bases and the countertops are totally separate textures and that's what's actually like going, it can be super pain when you're making them, but it's what's going to be allowing us to quickly customize and mix and match these. So obviously these big ones are the counter bases and then these ones here are the countertops. And what's awesome also about counters is that, um, which makes them difficult to make, but really easy to do what we're doing, 
is all of these meshes share the same texture. So once we update it for one of them, it'll update it for every variation. Does, if that makes sense. Hopefully, am I going slow enough for everyone? Does everyone understand this okay? Okay, so, um, like, like if you want, you can even go in and delete these later when you're done. Um, but we're just going to be looking at these ones here. So, I this is super simple. So, click on any one you want, and you can see there's two textures here. You can click on them to toggle between the two. Oh, let me zoom back in. So you can toggle on these to look at between them, and you can see each one has like a color, right, and then a top. Same here, color and then a top. And uh, one thing to be careful of um, is just I I sometimes will accidentally if I'm going quick I'll like I'll mean to put the countertop on the second texture, but I ended up putting it on the first. So. I all either have to like reimport the yellow texture or sometimes I try and save, you know, and then if I mess up, I'll just exit out and reopen it. Hi, blue, green, green, orange. I'm glad you joined and find this interesting. I love it quite as much as well. So, all right. So here you can see right with the red option here, but we also have it in white. So I think, look, these three have all white tops, but then also different colored tops. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let's say we wanted to do a blue one like this blue one with the white top as well, there's a few ways you can go about it. You can either change this one directly, or what you can do is click Add Swatch. This will add a totally new swatch. And here, I'm going to kind of copy the way they color-coded theirs. I'm going to do this white. So you just click on this, and then you can grab the color. And here, I'll just go in and throw that color in. So now this is blue and white. And this is kind of a cleanup you can do at the end, but I I try to do it like in this way so you can don't get super lost. And this is literally how easy it is to customize. We're gonna come in here, click import. We're gonna go to that folder with all the resources, and we're gonna scroll down and choose the white one. Boom. That is literally it. That's all you have to do. Save it, and then we'll now have this swatch in the game. So um, I like I love how simple it is. So again, here you can see this one's kind of like a bone-ish. It's like a tan kind of colored cabinet. This one's a white. While I do love the total white on white, I'm gonna add another swatch to this one, and I think I'm gonna do like a brown. So once again, go down to the second texture, or maybe like this gray would be pretty, right? So now we have this version. Um, and you can go in here and kind of choose uh, a color for that. That's literally as simple as it is. That's all you have to do to mix and match these. It's I love how easy it is. So then we'll just go here. Now I always work in a folder that's not my testing mods folder. I always work in a separate folder. And then like when I'm ready to test, I'll come in here and throw it in. Um, which is just my mods folder. I have a testing folder under my mods folder. Let's go in here and I'm just going to put test, test. That's my little keyword I use <laughs> whenever I'm testing something to find it easy. So that guy, open up the game. But does everyone see how easy that is? Like, are you surprised? Like, that's the cool part is you don't have to do like every counter variation. It, it ap t applies it to like everything. Oh, that seems, am I still using the old version of uh, Sims 4 Studio? I thought I checked the other day and it was the new one. Maybe I'm wrong, but. I thought this was the new one. I haven't checked in like a week though, so I could be using the old one. But, oh, it's not. Well, I'll have to download the new one after this. But yeah, like that essentially is the entire process. And so you can do this with any counters. You can also, if you want, you can try, this is something I'm testing, ignore this. <laughs> That's not from the counters, I swear. Um, okay, so this was the original one, right? And then we have...
the Irish Duchess, it, did I over, do you want me to recover um, that? If I, was it that over, if it was overwhelming, I can go over it again, no problem. We can step by step again through it if you want. Okay, so this was the original one. This is the new one. Um, and as you can see, that's kind of why I label it, although it does have like the little um, icon on the top left. It just does make it easy because you can just test for it. Now, I'm going to get rid of these guys in the back. So, yeah, so you can see like this one. This was the original and, oh, oops, opposite. That's my new one. So this was the original, oh, this is the one, oh, this is one I edited, that's why, this isn't the original, I was like, where is everything? Okay, good, I'm glad you ex I explained it well, because I'm more than happy to go over it again if you need me to. Um, this one, right, so here's the original white one, and then, um, oh, oh my gosh, I am messing up, hold on, okay. This is the demo. Okay, sorry, I was I was working on these last night when I was making like preview pictures, so that's why I have a second version. Okay, and so here is the now like updated one we did, where all we did was like swap the countertops. Um, another one, I think, did we only do the one? No, I, I thought, oh, that's right, duh, these are the original. I'm being stupid. <laughs> okay, so here's the blue one, original, and then this is the white countertop swap. So it's, yeah, it's really easy and hopefully that opens up like a lot of opportunities to use some of these that you normally wouldn't use. Cause I mean, like I said, like this one's got some great colors, but just maybe not like the best choices of um, color combo. Yes, um, beautifully chart. I will walk through it one more time. You also can always rewind, but I'll walk through it one more time with the counters cause it's um, a new set of counters. Cause it's really easy. Um, I'll probably walk through this one just a little bit quicker. Um, but you can always rewind to the beginning. So let's go here. So quick steps. You're going to download Sims 4 Studio. You're going to come here, Selective Clone. You're going to look Counters. Find the counters you want. In this case, I'll do the Island Living ones. Where are those? Unless I can't find them quickly. Did I miss them? Oh, here we go. So grab the counters you want. Make sure you have all of these check marked, especially all swatches. Click OK. Choose where you're going to save it. I'm going to do this under live demo. This is Island Living Counters. Now it's gonna take a minute to load and also to export um, just cause there's a lot of different variations. So you're gonna hop in here just do control shift C, studio.export all. It's gonna export all of the resources. Sims lady, I'm using old by months. I swear I checked the website the other day and my number was correct. Uh, maybe I'm going crazy. It's probably what is happening, but um, this is going to take a minute just because there's so many different resources and kind of like I was explaining earlier, this can be super overwhelming with all this stuff. The nice part is we don't have to touch any of that. I did break down what these were the first time I went through it. If you want to go back and watch it, um, this is exporting everything right now. So uh, this will pop up. You'll get a folder that's got um, all of your resources in here, and if you look, hold on, sorry, view, extra large icons, zoom out real quick, so if you go down here, you're going to see two different kind of styles, these ones are the countertops, these ones are the counter bases, you can tell pretty, it's pretty easy to tell which is which by colors, um, what we're going to be doing is just swapping the counter color, so this is how easy it is, you just want to go to texture, Choose the swatch that you want to swap. So in this case, like let's say I really don't love this yellow top. I'll add a swatch. <clears throat> You'll see there's two textures here. You, 
This is the countertop. This is the counter base. We're, we're changing the countertop, so we'll click here. We'll do import. Go find the folder where you just exported all those resources. And so now we can see these are all of our options. I think this is a gray counter, so I want to do a white top. So um, the original was yellow, and we're just going to swap it to this, right? So now we can see we have a gray and white. So I'll come in here and like change that to white. Now, let's see, like this one, same with this one, brown with the yellow top. So we could come in here and switch this one. And then also like here, if you like, this is kind of like bone with a white top. We don't love the handle colors. One thing we can do, so if you see right here, this little part is the handle colors. Let's find a different one. Okay, so this one is kind of like bone with silver. Here's the silver. And then this is like white with, or bone with like the rusty-ish color. So we'll come in here and this time I like the countertop, but I want to switch the handle colors. So I'm going to import. This is the one with the, oh, I should zoom back in, sorry. So this is the one that had the kind of rust colored top. And then here's the white ones with the gray, silver. So do that and you can see it swapped the handle color. SLSM works. Can you mix the base from one set and countertop from another set? Like put the top from Parenthood counters on the base game countertop. You kind of, you kind of can. There's actually some counters that reuse the same exact countertops and actually reuse the same texture. So what I would do is place them in game and see which ones which. Like see which ones match up. But if you know, if you look, you'll see um, like a lot. Some ends are like a circular end or a square end, or I think like the base game ones even have like a triangular end. So they have to be kind of similar shaped. Obviously, like the all the different pieces, and then also you need to uh, look and some of them have different actual counter heights, right? Like this one has like this lip. So it's just going to take some work in Blender because you're going to have to go in and edit each one of these meshes. So you can do it. You're going to have to go in and swap the countertop mesh for each one of these and possibly do some adjustments. So like I said, it is possible, but definitely a lot more complex. Than, than what we showed here. But yeah, once you make your edits, you just save it and throw it in your mods folder. So it's really uh, that that simple. So does that, I like, I was like, I've, I've been meaning to show this forever. It's so easy. Um, and I know it can make a big difference. It's actually like, even I don't love the counters I made and I always struggled finding good kitchen counter sets I liked. So this way you can kind of use the existing ones um, and customize them a little bit by yourself too. So, and same goes if there's a matching like bar piece, cause there's some bar pieces that fit in with the rest of the counters. You can go in and swap that countertop color too um, in a similar way. So, yay, Perry, I'm glad you had fun. I know this is kind of a shorter one, but I just wanted to give like this quick little tutorial. So, um, yeah, and feel free if you guys are sharing these with other people, I kind of geared it towards sharing it towards yourself or for yourself. But um, just make sure if you are sharing anything, try not to make overrides, like do an override for yourself and then um, just make sure you're letting people know that like the changes you made and delete like if you are sharing this make sure you delete all the swatches you didn't change the reason for that being it's just taking up uh you know storage space um with all the extra images so if you aren't using swatches or you didn't modify any like delete all of those um so perry you I typed in the hex decimal number. Um, you, there's also a color picker. Mine, for some reason, doesn't work on my right screen. I have to like move Sims 4 Studio to use the color picker on my left screen, which I wasn't streaming, so that's why I didn't do it. But yeah, um, there's a few different ways you can choose the color. Um, but if you want like the exact color of the other swatches, I think the best way is just to go copy and paste them. But yeah, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is one really kind of quick one. There's really not much else to it. So um, I'm going to go uh, get back to work on my latest set, which I'll hopefully get out in the next day or two. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions on this, you can always join my Discord. I have a help channel in there. But um, yeah, and if you missed the first part of this, you can watch anytime on YouTube and just 
rewind to the beginning and I went over it a lot more slowly the first time so if that helps but yeah I hope you guys have a great night and of course you're welcome Perry for doing this I love doing this if you guys have more tutorial questions let me know I, I want to do more of them it's been a while since I've done a little tutorial so um yeah so all right well I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you next week